Hello everyone, my name is Amaka and this is Lizama Stitches. If you're new here, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, you're highly welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to make a trendy wrap dress, which you can style in different ways. If you're yet to subscribe to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. So let's get started. Now, this fabric is folded into four. This is my fabric. I have three yards of fabric here. My fabric is folded into four. Now, this is it. This is it's folded into four. My fabric is folded into four. I have my front panel and my back panel here. Now, this is it. One, two, three, and four. So, I folded it into two. I started by folding it into two. I started by folding it into two. And I folded it again into four. Just like this. Now, in case you don't understand how I folded this fabric, now let's assume this is my fabric. I folded it into two, <coughs> and I folded it again into four. Now, I'm going to be taking my measurement from this part, from this folded part, which is this. And here, this is going to be my starting point. So, this is my starting point, which is also going to serve as my shoulder line. I'm going to start by taking my vertical measurement. Now, from this point, now this is my starting point, which is also going to serve as my shoulder line. Now I'm going to start by ruling my taking my I'm going to start by taking my vertical measurement. Now from this point, I'm going to take my waist measurement, which is 17 inches. My waist point is 17 inches. My hip point is 25 inches. And the full length of the dress is the full length of the dress is 59 inches. 59 inches plus one inch hemming allowance. So I'm going to extend the point. I'll connect it. So now on this point, I'm going to take the neck measurement. Now, the neck, the neck width I'm working with is four inches. I'm working with four inches neck width and five inches neck depth. I'll connect it. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my shoulder measurement. My shoulder measurement is, my shoulder measurement, the sh my shoulder measurement is 14 inches. 14 divided by 2 gives you 7 inches. Gives you 7 inches. Plus half inch seam allowance gives you 7.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 7.5 inches here. Now, from this, from this point, I'm going to come down by 1 inch for my shoulder slant. And I'll connect this point to this point. Now from this point, I'm going to I'm going to infuse my armhole depth. Now my armhole measurement is 16 inches. 16 divided by 2 gives you 8 inches. So I'm going to mark 8 inches here. And I'll extend this point. I'm extending this line and I'll connect this point to this point. Now this measurement I have here, 7.5 inches. I'm bringing it down here, 7.5 inches. So this is my 7.5 inches, I'll connect it. And I'll extend this point, which is my chest line. Now, the next 
thing I'm going to do on this on this line on my check point, I'm going to take my bust measurement. My bust circumference is my bust circumference is 38 inches. 38 divided by four gives you gives you 9.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 9.5 inches here. Nine point five inches plus one inch for ease and one inch seam allowance. Now on the waist. Okay, now I'm going to find the midpoint of this line. This is the midpoint of this line. Now from this point, I'm going to mark. I'm going to go in by three quarter inch. This is my three quarter inch, and I'll connect this point to this point and this point to this point. Now, let me label these lines. This is my chest point. This is my waist point. This is my hip point. And that's the full length of the dress. So on my waist point, I'm going to take my waist measurement on my waist point. Now my waist circumference is, my waist circumference is 32 inches. 32 divided by four gives you eight inches. Gives you eight inches plus one inch for ease and one inch seam allowance plus one inch for ease and one inch seam allowance now on this point on my hip point i'm going to take my hip measurement on my hip point my hip circumference is 40 inches 40 divided by 4 gives you 10 inches so i'm i'm going to mark 10 inches here plus one inch for ease and one inch seam allowance Now, on the hem, on the hem, the same measurement I have here, I'm going to bring it down here. So, I'm going to take my hip measurement. My hip circumference is, a quarter of my hip circumference is 10 inches, plus one inch for ease, and one inch seam allowance. Now, I'm going to connect the point. So, I'll connect the point just like this. I'm going to connect this point to this point. Please ignore the seam allowance for now. Let's just say I used 2 inches for ease. You can either use 1 inch or 2 inches for ease. As we proceed, you will understand why I said so. I'm going to connect this point to the hem. Just like this. Now, sorry, I'm also, my back panel is also here, so I'm going to, I'm going to infuse my back armhole. I'm going to mark my back armhole. So let me just mark my back armhole. This is my back armhole. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is this. The measurement, I, this measurement I have here, I'm going to measure what I have here. Now, what I have here is 10 inches. So what I have here is 10 inches. So I'm going to mark 10 inches here. I'm going to extend this point by 10 inches. So this is it. Now, the next thing I'm going to do from this point, I'm going to come down by, from this point, I'm going to come down by 2 inches. So... Now, on this line, I'm going to go down by 1.5 inches. And up from here, I'm going to go up by 1.5 inches. Now, 
Now, from this point, from this point, I'm going to come in by one inch, just like this. From here, I'll go, I'll come down by two inches. And I'll connect this point to this point with the curved part of my ruler. Just like this. So I'm going to do something like this. I'll connect this point to this point with the curved part of my ruler. So now this, I'm going to bring, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to mark this down. So let me find, let me check what I have here. Now what I have here is 19 inches. I have 19 inches here. So I'm going to bring down this measurement down. So I'm marking 19 inches here as well. So I'm going to take this measurement down to the hem. So this is the reason why I said you should ignore that other line I called seam allowance. Just use 2 inches for ease or 1 inch for ease. I'm going to add my shoulder seam allowance. I'm using half inch for my shoulder seam allowance. So I'm cutting the back first. So I'll notch. I'm going to now I'm going to separate the back panel from the front panel then I'll trim out the front armhole I'll trim the front armhole. So this is my belt. The length of now the belt is five inches by twenty inches. Five by twenty inches. Now, now like this is five inches, but when I put it on fold, it's going to be two point five inches. So I'm going to sew with half inch. I'm going to sew this with half inch. When I sew it with half inch, I'm going to be left with the, the belt is going to be two inches and I'm going to turn it inside out. Now for the sleeve, for the sleeve, I've cut out my sleeve. My sleeve is, my sleeve is a basic sleeve. I'm using a basic sleeve. I have a tutorial on, I'm using a basic sleeve because my fabric is small. So I'm going to be using a basic sleeve. I have a tutorial on how to draft a basic sleeve. I'm going to leave the link of that video in the description box below so that you can check it out later. But you can actually use any sleeve of your choice. You can use any sleeve of your choice. But I'm using a basic sleeve because my fabric has finished. So I'm just trying to manage it. So now this is my dress. Now let me show you how I'm going to join this dress. Let me show you how I'm going to join it. I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to place it right side facing right side. 
I'll place it right side facing right side, just like this. And I'll start by joining the shoulder. I'll join the shoulder. After joining the shoulder, I'm going to join the sides. I'm going to join the sides. Now, when I join the sides, when I join the sides, now look at my band. I've sewn my band. Let me show you how I'm going to how I'm going to fix in the band. So now this is what I'm going to do. Now this is sorry my belt, my belt. Now I'm going to now I'm going to place the belt. Now this is the wrong side of my fabric. I've placed my fabric right side facing right side. So I'm going to I'm going to put this part of the belt inside just like this. I'm going to put it inside like this. And I'll sew. So this is how I'm going to sew it. I'm going to sew it. I'm going to sew it like this. I'll sew it like this and I'll sew it like this and sew down. So that's what I'm going to do. That's how I'm going to sew this. Now the same way I'm going to sew this, I'm also going to sew this part. So after that, I'm going to attach the, the sleeve, then I'll, I'll wear it and show you what it looks like. So after that, I'm going to, now when I sew it like this, when you turn it to the right side, you, you see the belt will come out and the belt will be like this. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sew it and show you the outcome. Now I'm done sewing. Now this is my dress. I'm done sewing. I've attached, I've fixed the sleeve. And I also hemmed the neck. And I have to sew it from here, from the armhole. I have to sew from the armhole to the belt, to this point. The belt is inside. I fixed the belt and I sewed it down to the hem and i did the same thing on this other part i did the same thing here i have to sew from here to here to the belt to the belt then to the hem now let me turn turn it to the right side and i also hemmed the lower the lower part so let me turn it to the right side now this is the right side of my fabric and this is what it looks like So this is the belt. This is the belt. This is the belt. This is the belt. So now that's just it with this tutorial. That's just it with this tutorial. That's just it with this tutorial. I'm going to wear it for you to see what it looks like. If you found this tutorial helpful, Please click on the like button, share this video with your friends, share this video in your sewing groups, subscribe to my channel if you've not done so. Feel free to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Nizama Stitches. We've come to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.